welcome to an exciting episode of Urban Spice, the show that gives you, our viewers, the ultimate insider experience in the most discerning, quality and stylish places, events and people Africa has to offer. today's episode, we joined Sana Beauty on an exposition and finally, we attended the African Fashion Design Week. Sana Beauty is a proudly Nigerian skincare and beauty brand that produces skincare products for discerning African women. Sana pays homage to each woman's journey and provides her the tools to attain beauty that radiates from the inside. The name embodies the synthesis of art and beauty. The Sana brand is uplifting. It is empowering. It's about enabling women express their innermost beauty and attain realistic beauty standards without breaking the bank. On a journey to self-love, your skin is a great place to start. So choose Sana because you are a work of art. This edition was held in Lagos and Urban Spice was present. This is what went down. This one is Homie Wellington, and we are live at the beauty launch of Sanaa Beauty. I am so, so, so excited um, to be here tonight and to have everyone here to celebrate with myself and my business partner, Jemima Osunde. This is our baby that we have been working on for the past two years. We are both very, very passionate about skincare, but we're also really passionate about people learning to love themselves. So at the core of the messaging of our brand is the fact that you deserve to know how intricately created you are and how special you are as a human being. Hence the reason why our slogan is because you're a work of art. Um, so at the, at the core of our messaging is self-love um, and loving yourself and loving your skin in whatever stage you find your skin or yourself in. Right now we have two serums. We have the Morning Dew Serum which is a hydrating serum. Now what this does is it helps provide the skin with moisture, very well needed moisture, locks that in. Um, your skin is supple when you use this product, it's glowing, it's you know beaming and this is also a great product to use as the base of your makeup for women. You know makeup looks better on well moisturized skin so using hydrating morning dew serum is an excellent, is an excellent way to start your makeup. Now we have the BIM serum which is the one in the brown bottle, it's a blemish removing serum. What BIM serum does is it takes care of um, post acne scarring as well as any other scarring you're having on your face. Um, it's a great product for just rejuvenating your skin and bringing it back to what it was before any situation of like a breakout or you know things that happen that we have no control over for the most part. Now our products are targeted for or targeted or focuses more on African women and men on melanated skin. This does not mean that other people cannot use our products. Other people can, but we're just saying we made this with melanated skin in mind. My name is Banky Wellington. Um, what is beauty to me? You just saw what beauty is to me. That's her. Her name is Adesua Atomi Wellington. That's beauty to me. I'm so excited for her and Jemima about Sana Beauty launching today. It's an amazing product. It's an amazing skincare brand from two incredible, amazing, beautiful, talented young ladies. I'm so happy for them. They've been on this journey now for two and a half years and they're actually working with the aesthetician who does their own skincare. So somebody who knows them well, who's been working with them for a few years now. So. I'm excited about the product. I think it's going to do fantastically well. It's beautiful um, serums made for the African skin. So everybody who's into a bit of skincare, this product is for you. Check out Sana Beauty. The launch of Sana Beauty, I'm very excited. And I think the two amazing ladies who are launching this are very apt. Look at their skin, popping. Then I think it also says something to the fact that these are two black women 
of different shades. And I think that's one thing that we always uh, tend to misunderstand in this, uh, as black people, you know, you find certain brands who represent their products with a certain skin tone a lot. But what I love so far that I'm seeing is that any shade of black is welcome to this product. And I think that's very, very important. You know, there are not a lot of skin products or beauty products that cater to Africans or African skin particularly. And that's another thing I really love about what they've done with this product. It's also unisex. Why am I here? I'm here to celebrate Adesua and Jemima. It's the launch of Sana Beauty. Uh, it's been a long time coming and finally it's here so I'm here to celebrate with them. Uh, the brand is two beautiful serums that they've put together. Uh, I cannot wait to try it so we're here to just epa and market it, sell it, use it so that we can be glowing like Adesua and Jemima. So I'm positive that it will be an effective product because it's been made by two beautiful black women who have different skin tones so obviously they took into consideration every kind of skin tone so I'm so happy about the product and I can't wait to try it out. I am blown away if I ever was going to buy anybody's skincare products it would be them because have you seen their skin is giving milk is giving honey is giving skin so guys like when you see this product definitely go out and get it. I just support the brand Sana I think the brand is a really um, special one coming from Adeso and Jemima and I know that you know because based on who they are it's definitely going to be quality stuff and yeah you guys should go out there. Creative Community 4. This edition was held in Lagos. Urban Spice was present and this is what went down. Obini Chika. I'm at African Fashion and Design Week at Oriental Hotels, Lagos, Nigeria, and we are at the backstage of the fashion show. I'm wearing an outfit from Sonia Jerry, and this outfit is so good. Like, I feel, I feel so beautiful wearing this outfit. Like, take a look. It's really, really nice. So, like, if you did outfits like this, contact Sonia Jerry. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Amarachi Success and this is the backstage of African Fashion Design Week and I'm wearing Sonia Jerry as you can see it's so beautiful and I'm excited to be here like oh wow I can't just wait to see what everything has to be in store. Thank you guys. Hi I'm Henry from Henry Mars. I'm a designer with Henry Mars and I'm here at African Fashion and Design Week. We have some amazing pieces that we are showcasing today about five of them, um, some male pieces and female pieces that we are showcasing today. Very beautiful pieces. Um, you'll be seeing about three pieces. So what we, what we like to do at Henry Mars basically is blend fashion from before and what is obtainable now, try to mix ready to wear and couture together and make sure that what you'll be seeing, whatever we are presenting, is something that a modern woman can wear. And if you take it way back to, let's say, 1970s, women in that era too would be comfortable wearing that too. Hi everyone, my name is Oyinda Mola and I'm right here at African Fashion and Design Week 2023. And I'm wearing Sonia Jerry this design is very very comfortable and it's beautiful and elegant and also I can't wait to eat the wrong way and showcase this amazing design thank you
showcasing Africa in its most positive light, telling our story, our uniqueness, our creativity. There's none if you want to talk about creativity that you want to put together with Africans. Because we're cool, we like to stand out. We want to do everything we do with class, with luxury, and with a sense of style. And that's what you've seen on the runway. We've put together designers who are creative, always wanting to showcase Africa in its creativity, telling the world we are here. And that was the last piece, okay, of the designer saying we are here, and we are indeed here, and we tell our story every year. Thank you very much. This event is all about a fusion of, of the arts, architecture, fashion, you know, and uh, we hope in the future it will include all that involves art. Uh, basically, you know, they've uh, uh, achieved what they set out to do, to have such an event. And the fashion show today was uh, quite good, uh, especially the female fashion was uh, adventurous and uh, innovative. I wish that uh, the men's fashion too was a bit more innovative and all that. And taking off from here next year, I hope that, you know, they'll get more uh, daring stuff, you know, moving out of the ordinary. So overall, I said they've achieved what they came to achieve, and uh, the rest is for the media people to do their own job, to let the world know that this happened, so that next year it's going to be bigger and better. Hi, my name is Blossom Amanda, the African Fashion Design Week. I've had so much fun today. There's so many amazing looks, and everyone here, the energy is just so amazing. Keep watching Urban Spice. My name is Blossom. That's all for this week's dose of Urban Spice. If you have a fabulous event that you think we should know about, then send us an email. It's info at myspice.tv.